Hey, what's up guys? I got this new CRKT burler in the other day and I wanted to go over a little overview, let you know my initial thoughts and make some comments and some uh, interesting findings I've uh, found out about it. So first off, this is basically how it came in the packaging. Basically attached to a piece of cardboard with zip ties down here and up here had zip ties around this piece of plastic that's attached into. Right off the bat you'll notice there's no zip ties there anymore and I've attached some paracord there and I'll tell you why. Initially out of the, well, off the cardboard, the axe doesn't come with a traditional sheath, but just to ship it, they have it in this piece of what looks like Kydex or some kind of plastic you'd make a sheath out of, but it keeps it relatively tight in there. So what I did was basically fasten paracord to it and made belt loops tied some knots and some paracord and basically have a sheath that you can take it in and out of. Hard to do this with one hand. There we go. You can see it's not much but it's definitely enough to throw in your pack and not rip it open and if you needed to you could strap it right to your belt and until they come out with the leather sheath and even if they did come out with a leather sheath, I don't know if I'd ever, if this works, I mean, I don't know if I'd need anything more than that. It holds pretty tight. Anyway, the axe itself, 16 inch handle, supposedly five inch, <clears throat> five inches on the head. Uh, all things are said, I really like the shape of it. Two things, just a disclaimer real quick. That handle is was actually really kind of not finished and a little bit rough to the touch. Not rough, but not smooth like you'd expect on a normal axe. And uh, what I did is I actually went through with 400 grit sandpaper and sanded the whole thing down, whatever little finish they had on there, off. And I coated it with a few coatings of this uh, boiled linseed oil. And that's kind of what's given it shine and you can find instructions on how to do that if you just you know google like boiled linseed oil axe handle something like that put a few coatings on there and got a nice gloss to it feels really good now honestly right out of the packaging this it, this axe kind of strikes me as something that it's a nice design but for the money it seems like you need to kind of put in some extra work to it the handle was one thing, and then the second thing I was about to mention, I doubt you're going to be able to catch anything good from here, but there's some wear marks in there, so it's chopping in a few little things, but the, I take my word for it, I doubt you'll be able to catch it on here, but the, uh, the grind itself wasn't very, uh, it just wasn't very good. I, you know, there's, it's not sharp, you couldn't cut anything with it right off the bat. Uh, just, to, just didn't strike me as what's something that should come right out of the box. I don't have too much experience with buying axes new, but I did buy a, a SOG Tomahawk, and I know that was, you know, at least cutting sharp out of the, the you know, the packaging. It just kind of disappointed me that this one wasn't, but I really like the design of it, and I think, you know, if you're willing to spend the money, I, I, the, you know, the head looks really nice, the handle looks solid, just didn't have a decent finish when I first got it but for a few extra bucks a little sandpaper a little uh, what I use like boiled linseed oil make it really nice and then I think uh, if, you, if you took you know maybe half an hour an hour and did some work on that uh, edge be it with a stone or with with a grinder if you had one I think you can make this a really nice little pack axe and I'm hoping to either hear some of these reviews and change some things or you know maybe lower the price a little bit uh, I'll put it in a, a link in the description or at least a note of it I got this one I think the regular on like knife center blade HQ and stuff is around like sixty dollars and then they have to pay their shipping and whatnot and I got this one on Midway USA with free shipping for fifty dollars and I had some discount code for 20% off so it all came down to $40 free shipping so that was a pretty good steal for what it's going for on all the other websites uh, depending on how uh, when you view this video 
um, that might not be the case anymore, but picked it up for 40 bucks. So if you see this, you know, relatively soon, you probably do the same. Uh, I definitely think it's something that needed a little work, but nothing that was that hard to do, you know, just a few extra things to buy at Lowe's and then I'm going to have to uh, hit it with some stones, maybe see if I can find a grinder or something just to get that edge a little bit more neat. But this is just my overview of it. Just letting you know what I'm seeing right out the box. Uh, definitely do a review on it later on. And uh, I think that's all I got for the axe here. Just to uh, let you know, you know, any of my subscribers, I haven't done a video in a long time and I apologize for that. But just let me pan out here for a second. Got all of this gear set up in the corner here that I've been using and abusing. Stuff that I want to review here pretty soon. So now that I got a decent phone and a decent camera, I'll get my setup down and I'll uh, definitely be making more videos here soon. Hope you guys like the review. Any questions or any questions about any of the gear you saw or just any questions in general, make sure to leave them in the comments and uh, let me know what you thought.